So this is the projectile motion code which I wrote for Chendo. Let us see how it works first. Uh, 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 in the first case, uh, the ball is projected with a velocity of 20 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees. And this is how it looks. Okay, maybe you missed the animation. Let me run it again. So yeah, this is how it goes. And then if you change the angle to 30 degrees, it's like this and if you change it to maybe 50 degrees it's like this as you can see um, you get the maximum range only when you throw it at 45 degrees because there's no air resistance or anything um, okay now uh, let us uh, look into the code so this is the time vector over which our simulation will run and then this is the initial velocity 20 meter per second and this is the angle of projection in degrees this angle is converted into radians in this step so theta is in radians because mat, uh, for MATLAB the sine and cos functions take input of only radians so we convert this degrees into radians here and this is the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meters per second and then u cos theta is the velocity in x direction u sine theta is the velocity in y direction and then you have these equations of motion in x direction because there's no resistance it's there's no air resistance um, it keeps going at a constant velocity of ux and in y, y direction uh, the the uh, object the object thrown is um, resisted by the acceleration due to gravity that's why you get this term ut minus half gt square okay and uh, yeah that's it by here we're done with the x and y vectors and then we plot and now for the animation while you plot you use this pause function so that everything is not plotted at once you give some time gap uh, when the uh, when the point should be plotted so uh, for i equal to 1 I'll tell you why we're using this later. You plot the point with in color R with the star mark. So uh, as you can see, uh, each and everything is uh, plotted in the color red with a star mark. So that's what this means. Red color star mark, right? Okay. And then you hold on, which means that uh, the previous image is still there. And then you pause it for some time and then you plot X of two, right? And then you pause it for some, hold on, pause it for some time and plot x of 3. So uh, that would result in a graph like this. And then why I'm using this is because uh, your uh, ball won't go below the uh, horizontal reference level. Because you're throwing, you're projecting the ball from the ground. So I wrote this statement so that that condition is satisfied otherwise the ball keeps going down 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 so uh, to restrict that i use this and yeah that's all you can uh, change these values and rerun the code thank you